There are many generative AI models being released every day. Some of them need just the CPU to run, but many of those actually need the GPU asset. If you don't have GPU, in this video, I will show you how you can get cloud GPU for free. And if you need the dedicated type of GPU, I'll also show you some of the paid resources. First, let's go through the free resources one. The one is Google Colab and the next one is Kaggle. I will show you how you can quickly get started with both of these. For Kaggle, you can just go to kaggle.com and this is the website. First thing, first you need to create an account for this. You, will, you need to register for this. I have already registered, but I will log in. Okay, now I am logged in. So you see that this is the interface. The thing that you need to do is in the left side here, you can see there are competitions, data set, models, code, and all the different things here. But what we are interested here is to use the GPU, right? So in this create icon, you can go and create a new notebook. It will create a notebook for you. It will give some random name. You can just go and change the name here. In order to have the GPU in it, you if you go to the right side here, it says notebook options and here there is the accelerator if you click this one from here you can actually choose the gpu t4 into 2 gpu p100 tpu and tpu another version let's just go with the gpu t4 into 2 so it says that turning on gpu this will reduce the number of cpus available and will speed up image processing and neural networks you can just turn on the gpu if you need and then you will have GP and from here you can see that you have a quota it says that you have 30 hours and you can use those 30 hours of GPU at one time so and then it will reset now let's go to Google Colab if you go to collab.resource.google.com this is the website first thing first this is the notebook already but if you need to create a new notebook you can just go here and say okay new notebook it will create a new notebook for you for this also you need to have an account i hope you have the uh, google account and now we have a notebook which says untitled 9 you can just change this whatever you want but if you click this run time and go to change run time here it says none but if you click this it says gpu and tpu if you just click the gpu and just do save it will allocate the gpu for you and here it says connect if you click the connect it is now allocating the resources for you for uh, this notebook so here it is actually connecting and now it is initializing and let's say it takes some time now it's connected if you click this now you can see here that there is the ram of 12.7 gb there is gpu ram and there is 78 gb of disk in order to see what kind of gpu this is allocating you you can just go to the first cell and type exclamation NVIDIA, NVIDIA SMI, and if you type Shift Enter, it will show you what GPU is allocated for you. Here it says that Tesla T4 is allocated for you. This is how you can quickly get access to GPU in Google Colab. So those two are the free versions, but if you want to have the dedicated GPU or rent the GPU, you can use this JarvisLabs.ai. Here, if they have provided that many companies are using it, trusted by 10,000 plus AI practitioners. And you can sign up and get resources. If you go to the pricing here, you can see what is the pricing for what kind of GPU. So this is one resource. And the next one is the vast.ai. Here it says that this is a global GPU market. And if you see here on demand pricing, and here they have actually compared the different prices also with other providers. You can just go here and see which one best fits your need. And the next one is paper space. So here also you can see that there is pricing. You can just go here and see what are the different resources. There is also the free version, free GPU, and there is pro version and growth version. Yeah, this is just a short video I want to create because there are many models being published each day and you might need GPU access and you might be wondering where to go, right? I hope this video gave you an idea of where you can start and quickly assess GPU and run the models and test. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.